Oh, you're from we. Okay, can, yeah, I'm from Montgomery Community Tel or Montgomery County Government Television. Can we talk to you about your uh, what you guys are doing here? What you do with your club? Talk, talk to me a little bit about your display that you have here. Okay, well, for our display, we're displaying our cases and cars for a race called 1080. Um, the race is sponsored by Red Cat and NASCAR. Essentially, it's a race where we drive our cars using these remote controllers, and there can be as many as 12 cars on a track at a time, and we go. There are a lot of different races. There's a 25-minute endurance race. There's a 10-minute qualifier race, and then there are races where the track is kind of, kind of like squared. It's like it's like a Mario Kart track in a game almost. We do a lot of different things to optimize the car to the way we like. We do things such as changing wheels and batteries. Ooh, let me see that real quick. So well, for wheels, when we're driving on a floor like this, we would have rubber wheels for grip, but if we were driving on a floor like carpet, we would have rubber wheels if we wanted drift. On a floor like this, we would use foam wheels if we wanted to drift or, and so on. Okay. Um, we, also, we also do a lot of different things to our case. A case like this is really useful because it allows air to flow through the car and the engine, and, and it cools the ducts because cars overheat most of the time, I'm sure you know. And one thing about this case, because there's no way for the air to enter, it could cause a lot of drag, but that's still something we're working on in the future. This is really cool stuff. You know, why do you think it's important to show what you guys are working on and why are you participating in it? Uh, I think it's fun. I really enjoy it. This is my third year on the team and I'm the lead driver for our team. Uh, it takes a lot of practice to be able to drive it because it's not very easy to control. Uh, the top speed these cars can go is up to 25 miles per hour and they're very small so they kind of all over the place. Kind of like a squirrel just running all over the place. Yeah. So you've learned a lot doing it. You've yeah, I've learned a lot. Do you think it's going to help you in your future, what you're doing? Definitely. I mean, the way that we have to apply team skills and we have to work together as a team and I I would have never known how to like change a tire I mean it's not a real tire but it still gives you an idea of what to do the same thing goes with just normal concepts of engineering we have to take the cars apart put them back together we have to you know do brainstorming we have to think we have to you know make new projects, do new things. We can't stop. We never stop, honestly. We have to keep going, always find new ways to improve the car and do better in races. Excellent. What's your name? My name is Troy Pauls Jr. Can you spell that, please? T-R-O-Y-P-A-U-L-S Jr. Okay, thanks, Troy. It's really nice to meet you. Good nice. luck.